When it comes to weight gain and menopause, we have a list of things that we should address. But for today, I wanna to talk about belly fat and gut health. There are two types of fat that we see. Subcutaneous fat, that's the fat that's right underneath your skin, and visceral fat, which is the fat around your vital organs. And visceral fat can be dangerous because it's metabolically active. But first and foremost, beautiful ladies, please stop beating yourself up over changes in your midsection. Menopause weight gain doesn't mean that you've done anything wrong. I mean, we can look all the way back in perimenopause and start to see that increase in visceral fat because of things like inflammation, our gut health, and from toxins we're exposed to. We can see more inflammation because of that decrease in our anti-inflammatory hormone estrogen. Also, we become less stress resistant. Yeah, that's part of the hormone change in menopause. And it just means that we need to focus in on optimizing our gut health. So I've got five things that you can do to start dialing in and mitigating that menopausal belly fat. Number one is protein. I know you're not shocked to hear me say this, but getting 30 to 40 grams per meal plus snacks is ideal. And if you're not used to getting that much protein, start with three palms a day and build slowly from there. Number two is fiber. Fiber is going to be your BFF to ward off visceral fat. In the US, 12 grams is the average fiber intake that we get a day when we really need 25. How do you get fiber? Think avocados, oats, berries, artichokes, beans, almonds, and chia seeds to name a few. Number three is magnesium. In menopause, our bodies change how they break down minerals and most women are deficient in magnesium. I recently heard a study from the NAM Society that looked at two groups of women and magnesium. Group one was getting their magnesium solely from food and they got slightly less than group two who was getting magnesium supplements. Surprisingly, the group that got it from real food, even with a little bit less, showed better signs of brain health. And the reason is it's believed that we don't break down supplements as well either. So think about foods that are high in magnesium to add to your diet, pumpkin seeds, almonds, salmon, black beans, greens, and chia seeds. Number four is vitamin D. There are numerous studies that link low vitamin D to belly fat, especially think about the winter months. We're all a little bit low and vitamin D is probably the number one supplement we should all be taking. Number five, concentrating on antioxidant foods that are minimally processed, including fermented foods, yogurt, and high fiber carbs that will help restore your gut, can also help with brain fog and energy too. And lastly, if you're going through perimenopause or even postmenopause changes and you're frustrated with belly fat or body composition changes, take a deep breath and be patient. You will get there when you focus on your gut health, strength training, navigating your stress, working on your sleep, and connecting with supportive, like-minded women who get it. And if you're looking for a supportive place to connect, hop on over to my private group. I'll drop the link below. And please, if this was helpful for you, please like and share, even subscribe to the channel. And that way I'll know that you want more of this content.